wonderful 101. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ellison Cruz, and welcome back to the lovely, wonderful 101. Here we are at the end of Operation 004, and we're going to go ahead and take on this boss, which is kind of a weird one. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about it, but it's pretty short and kind of cheap, but let's just do it. Get it over with. Whew. Oh, this statue, she is... <laughs> Beautiful. Indeed. Mm, I prefer a woman with a little more meat on her bones. Yeah, I'm not even going to touch that one. Luca! Where are you? Say something! Luca! Can you hear us? Answer me! Oh, where is that kid? <laughs> this is the last place I expected to see you, Blondie. Are you here for a real woman? Or your silly statue? Show, Show yourself! I'm afraid you are not my type. The goddess, on the other hand. <laughs> I love how the thumbs up initiates unlimited ultimate or whatever. <laughs> anyway, we've got the tentacles of a boss here. I do believe his name is called Odarko, and he's got a couple of interesting moves here. The first of which is the flamethrower, which I haven't mentioned this before because it hasn't really been relevant. But Unite Hand has elements of fire to it, obviously, and this is dumb. And you can actually guard against flames just like you can deflect against electricity with Unite Swords. So that's pretty cool. Here we've got a laser move that will actually move when we have to go with it to reflect it. You get a lot of points for it, so it's pretty good. Um, this first part of the fight is actually a lot more difficult ooh, because he's got moves like this where he'll just go and slam the giant statue there. And you want to be careful because of these bomb moves, especially. You might think that because they're spiked, you want to go and deflect them back at um, the guy. God damn it. But I would not recommend it because if you try picking one up, it'll cause the others to detonate and usually it will end up killing you. These bombs, the spiky bombs, have a very strange hitbox, Ooh, and those ones will detonate on impact. So just roll away or spring away or do whatever you have to. It might almost be a good idea to um, take off Unite Mine or whatever, Spring Mine, when you drop the sp uh, When you spring away, you activate a mine, so. And this is really dumb right here. I don't like this because they're going to explode, and I'm stuck in the flames. Oh, so let's just take him out, and hopefully, there we go. Once you get half of his health down, he'll go and veer away, which is one of those annoying things how you can't just continuously deal damage to a boss. After you do a certain amount, they'll just go away and they'll be like, ah, oh, you can't do any more damage for this round, you gotta wait. It's not very not very convenient for the player, but let's go and take him out. There's one tentacle. Luckily these guys, this it's a very straightforward fight, it's just those bombs usually give me a little bit of trouble, and I don't think we've even done any damage to this guy. Oh yeah, we did, okay. And he's going to do the same move again. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, good sir. Alright. And are we still in an underwater city? Isn't that still a thing? How are we flying through this? <laughs> okay. So let's go and hammer this. Now actually make sure you hammer it. Don't press Y to strike it. Otherwise, it won't work. It's stupid that way. <sighs> we win by destroying half of the statue. Obi-Wan 
octopus for dinner, guys! Luca! Alright, cake face! Hand over, Luca! Blah, 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 you boy! Okay. I love how the monologue boxes have to go ahead and block the screen, even though you can turn them off by pressing ZR, I think. But, whatever. Anyway, he's gonna have four tentacles that do different things, and we need to destroy every single one of them, which is annoying. This one you wanna be careful for. This one will swing a spiked ball down here, and so you just need to go ahead and take rid of as much of this as you can so you can start attacking the, uh, the core. Usually you can only get two pieces off before he goes away. Um, one of them will strike electricity, which is not this one. This one will shoot guns. It's pretty pretty easy to maneuver. However, it's really annoying because he's up in the air, so it makes it annoying to, to hit, obviously. Come on now. Come on. There. Jesus. <laughs> I love how it's just, like, barely high enough. Okay. A couple of set pieces will happen in this battle, including going through, like, a giant rock. Um, and this one will do electricity. This one's probably the best one. Yeah, when we go through a giant rock, that's probably going to be your best bet because um, it actually allows you to throw rocks at these things without missing, so it's really good. Oh, and also this right here, obviously. This one's also really good. So you have the four tentacles, this one does the sludge, and then the guy with the beam, so. And this, the sludge I wouldn't worry too much about as long as you use sentient morphs to do your bidding. That one's usually the first one to die for me, so. And we're basically just continue on our merry way. You know, I wonder if using gun would probably be better here, but it's probably... I don't really care. This is good. See, sometimes he's, like... I don't know. This confuses me. I don't know how I feel about this, but... There we go. Ooh, I think something hit him. Alright. So many things happen, it's just hard to tell. But the thing that sucks is that they'll always go away right when they have a sliver of health. Like, right here, I bet you we're probably gonna end up almost killing him. But we're not going to because he's going to go away and then it's just going to be a giant waste of time. Come on, oh god. If you try and Wonderliner into them, they just will go away. It's annoying. Oh god, right here and jump away. There we go. Also, um, you can heal the uh, Virgin Victory just like you can just by like circling it. So just remember, you can bring the health back. If it goes all the way down, then you're kind of SOL. Okay, so this one should be almost finished. And once we've destroyed one of them, I think we get a couple of soldiers to help out, so... Seriously? Oh, I did get it. Okay, good. Okay, yeah, there we go. So, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Elsa Cruz. Welcome to the Wonderful 101. This is lovely. We're almost halfway through the game, you guys. I'm actually pretty impressed with us. <laughs> Ugh. Alright, we're, we're almost done, though. Um, the game almost feels shorter in the later half, but there are some extremely long levels, so just prepare yourself for that. Come on, come on, he's almost dead. Oh, never mind, he was not even close. Okay, all right, come on, there we go. Okay, so he's dead, and that's kind of why I like the beam. It's like an instant hit. All right, we'll heal up the ship. There we go. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. Whew, okay, so these guys are actually gonna drop, I believe, 20, which is a lot of Cosby's to be dropping off at the pool, yeah. But that means we'll be short by one by the time this is all over, so that's no fun. Okay, let's finish this ass off, shall we? I'm excited. I'm excited to finish this off. Okay, this guy right here, he's on the verge of death right here. There it is. The, on the verge of virginity. And now we get more people, but they'll only give us 20, which means we're gonna top out at 99. Kind of a kind of a bummer there, but sorry, right, kind of a bummer, man. Actually, I think they drop a third tree, like a third 20, like people. I don't know. It's weird. Okay, we, so he's almost dead. And and the one with the ball and chain or whatever, that one goes down super fast after we get all the Unite whips off. It's kind of weird how slow it is. So let's go ahead and take these off. Actually, I think we could probably damage it now. Yeah, he just went away. He just, he just ran away as like, fuck it, I'm out of here. Okay, electricity? Is there going to be electricity? Oh no, this is good, okay. So when this panning out shot happens, we're gonna go through a giant rock. It's like, okay, everything's fine, somehow. But they'll drop rocks on the deck, and you can throw it and do lots of damage instantly. <laughs> and it's actually really good just for getting a lot of, like, far away damage, and I think we just did it. Throw it at something, throw it quick, throw it, yeah! <laughs> it's like, wait for me, guys! And yep, okay, I guess they are dropping more. What am I attacking? Oh, I'm attacking the thing. 
the ball. I think I got it. I may have gotten it. I don't know. Sometimes the way these things are set up, they just don't segue very well. Okay. Where are we at? Did we get it? I think we got it off. Oh, no. He's still alive. He's like, look at my fabulous little new accessory. All right. This will kill him. Look how fast it, that goes down. That's insane. Oh. So, without further ado, we are now on the hentai tentacles, and we're actually going to go run over here to make sure you have Wonder White out so that we can go ahead and bust open this where Luke is just waiting in electricity. No big deal. Oh jeez. You implying we weren't already united? Alright. Well, if you couldn't have guessed, we have to go ahead and bust this open. This is much more straightforward than it was in the last final boss operation. Um, some of these moves you can pretty much ascertain when you need to <laughs> roll away and do things, but just go ahead and use Unite Hammer and things will go fairly well for us, I hope. And, ooh, okay, 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 so when this poison gas goes out, use Unite Whip because there's gonna be this thing. Excuse me, excuse me, can I please, can I please grab that? Thank you. I'm just gonna wait a moment. There we go. How do they, we're wearing masks. It wouldn't be able to hurt us, would it? I don't know. But he's almost dead, so let's go and, uh, there we go. Oh, he's not dead yet. He's not even close to being dead. Okay, so just avoid his attacks and he should be good. Ooh, that, one, that missile almost hit me. Okay, can we please just do this? <laughs> Thank you. All right. And this is the end of the fight, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Come on. Okay. What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, my God. That was stupid. Well, there we have it. We have 
become the Undersea Assassin, and uh, we've completed Operation 004. Unfortunately, I took damage right at the very end. This was my first recording of the day. Sometimes for these final bosses, I have to re-record just to not get a shitty score. But God, that would have been beautiful to... Oh, man. And it was like at the last possible second, too. Like, what even happened? Hmm. Thanks, R2. Um, so next time on the wonderful 101, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who are still, for whatever reason, tuning in every other day or whatever, I have these going up. Um, we're going to be taking on probably one of the more interesting levels that include long things. And because we now have it, I think we're going to go by Unite Drill Spring. I'm short by 10,000. Um, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to do it. We're going to we're gonna be getting another wonderful card here pretty soon. Also, 600 thousand is very expensive and um yeah actually there's a couple of other things we're gonna buy later and treasure sensor might also be really good for us as well um we're gonna start going a little bit more in depth about collecting all of the things and it doesn't really help it just kind of beeps whenever you're near something and this one i don't think would be very good but it wouldn't i don't know it wouldn't hurt so, um, yeah, we'll dolge ourselves with this a little bit. We'll dolge, indulge ourselves next time in a very curious area. Operation 005, Mount Ogato, Lost City of Low Rule. Yeah, next time, we're going to be going to Brazil ass South America and, uh, dealing with nonsense there. Talk about a change of scenery if I ever saw it myself. <laughs> My name's Awesome Cruz, and I'll talk to you guys next time.